Unit One, Hotels. Is Rex Inn a good hotel? Yes, it's one of the best in the area. What are the rooms like? The hotel offers a variety of accommodation. Both bungalows and suites are available. Is there a restaurant there? Yes, the hotel is a wonderful restaurant. All meals are buffet style. Where is the hotel? It's located right on the beach. All the bungalows are right on the water's edge. That sounds good. Thank you very much. What's the Grand Hotel like? The hotel offers good service and value for money. How big are the rooms? The rooms are spacious and simply furnished. What about the location? The hotel's great location makes it ideal for a quiet retreat. Mm -hmm. You can really relax and unwind. Is it close to the sea? Yes, the beautiful beach is only a short walk away. That sounds perfect. Thank you very much for your help. Can you tell me a little bit about the hotel? The accommodation is clean, comfortable, and affordable. What types of rooms are available? Single, twins, and double rooms are available. They are either superior or deluxe. What do the rooms look like? The hotel has recently been renovated and modernized, so all the rooms are pleasantly decorated and furnished. Is the hotel situated near any of the city's attractions? The hotel is located within walking distance from all the local points of interest. Unit two, travel and transport. Good morning, sir. Did you have a nice flight? Very good, thanks. I had a stopover in Bangkok last night, so it was just a short domestic flight for me today. Our minibus is waiting right outside. I have to wait for just one more passenger to arrive, and then we'll set off. Will the journey take very long? Not at all. About 20 minutes. Hmm. What time does the other guest get in? Oh, he was on the same flight as you, so he should be here any minute. Great. I'm going on the tour tomorrow. What time will I be picked up? Oh, the bus will pick you up around 7 a.m. Please wait at your hotel reception and we'll call for you. Can you tell me a little about tomorrow's itinerary? Certainly. The trip starts at 7 when we pick you up at your hotel. We'll stop off at a couple of other hotels to collect some more guests mm. and then it's straight to a UTI. Will we stop for something to eat? On the way, we'll stop at a small restaurant for breakfast and then we'll have our lunch around midday. Mm. What time are we due back? Uh, we'll drop you off at your hotel around 6. Thank you. You're very welcome. Can you tell me how to get to the Grand Palace? Sure. There are a number of ways to get there. You could take a bus, taxi or a tuk-tuk. Is that one of those three-wheeled vehicles I've seen around? That's right. The traffic is so bad at this time of day, though. It'll take quite a long time to get there. It might be better for you to take a boat. Well, that sounds better anyway. Yes, it's quite nice to escape the traffic and cruise up and down the Tapraya River. How frequently do the boats run? Um, during the day, they run every 15 minutes or so. That's great. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Unit 3. Conversation Openers. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Very well, thank you. Did you sleep well? Yes. I was so tired. I went to bed really early. I'm glad to hear that you had a good night's sleep because we have a lot of interesting things to see today. Great. I can't wait. I'm going to talk to the other guests now. Please let me know if I can be of any assistance. Thank you. I will. Hi. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Is this your first visit to Thailand? Yes, it is. I'm really enjoying it. 
How long are you staying? I'm on a two-week holiday. I have already been here one week, so I have one more to go. Where have you been so far? I spent the first week on the beach relaxing. Now, I have a week of sightseeing. Good. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please feel free to ask me any questions you like. I'm always willing to help. Thanks very much. That's very kind of you. Hello again. I'm sorry. What did you say your name was? I'm James. Sorry, James. So, what do you do back home? Oh, I'm an accountant. That's interesting. Do you enjoy your job? Oh, you know, it pays the bills. Do you enjoy this? Yes. I'm very proud of our history and culture, and it's great to share that with people. Don't you get bored at all? Oh, there's always someone new to talk to, and always some questions that haven't been asked before. It's nice when someone enjoys their work. Yes, I love meeting new people, and I enjoy practicing my English too. I think your English is very good, and certainly a lot better than my Thai. Thank you. You're very kind. Unit 4, The Tour. Please tell me about the most popular resort areas in Thailand. Thailand has many inland and coastal resorts. I already know about many of the resorts in southern Thailand. What about the rest of the country? Central Thailand has beautiful rivers and waterfalls, and there are mountains and lush forests in the north. The Thai scenery certainly does sound fantastic. Would you like me to book anything for you now? Wow, there is so much to do and so little time to do it. I will have to think about how long I have left and then let you know. Okay, no problem. I'm here to offer any advice when you need it. Thank you ever so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. I'd like some advice, please. Sure. How can I help you? I'm on vacation, but I'm only here for a few days. I'd like to know what tours do you recommend? Okay. Are you looking for a day excursion to some local attractions, an overnight trip, or perhaps a weekend getaway? I'd like to stay fairly local, I think, because I've already done a lot of traveling. In that case, may I suggest that you look through this brochure and uh, see if there's anything there that interests you? Thank you. Kanchanaburi looks interesting. I see that you have two package tours to Kanchanaburi. Can you give me the price of each one? Certainly. The day trip costs 1,300 baht, mm. and the overnight trip costs 2,400 baht. It looks like there's a lot more items included on the two-day itinerary, so I think I'll choose that one. Okay, I will make the reservation for you. It's a really good tour, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, thank you. Besides the Bangkok attractions, can you tell me what other day trips are available? Certainly. The two most popular excursions are to Ayutthaya and Kanchanaburi. Ah, uh, yes. That's where the famous bridge over the River Kwai is, isn't it? That's right. We offer trips to the bridge and also the Death Railway, where thousands of Allied troops were killed by the brutal treatment of the Japanese during its construction. What else is there to see in Kanchanaburi? Most of the province remains sparsely populated and wild, so there are a number of wildlife sanctuaries. I'd like to go see what the real Thai countryside looks like. Yes, you should. The landscape is so picturesque. Kanchanaburi has several of Thailand's largest waterfalls. They are beautiful. Okay, I'm sold. When can I go? Unit 5, Thai Customs. This is my first trip to Thailand, and I'd like to find out some information about Thai customs. Okay. 
The first thing you should know is the Thai greeting. Yes, I've seen that when Thais greet each other, they put their hands together in a prayer position. That's right. It's called the Y, and Thai people do it to show respect for each other. That's interesting. We just shake hands. Yes, and most Thai people know that, so no one will be angry with you if you don't Y. However, if someone does Y to you, then it's only polite to return the greeting. Is that the only time a Y is performed? No. Thai people also show respect to images of the king and Lord Buddha in the same way. Although, when the Y is performed on these occasions, the hands are held higher and the head is bowed lower. The gesture can mean not only hello, but also thank you, goodbye, and I'm sorry. Wow, I didn't know that. Thanks for your advice. I heard that Thai food is very delicious. Is it very spicy? Thai food is wonderful, but a lot of our dishes are made using chilies. So be careful, especially if you're not used to hot food. Is it possible to eat food that isn't very spicy? Yes, there are a number of dishes that aren't too spicy. Look out for dishes that are made using coconut milk. Those tend to be less spicy. Is there any Thai food I should watch out for? Hmm. My advice is to try everything, but do be careful if you buy food from a street vendor. They are not governed by the health authority, so the food might not be as clean or well prepared as the food you would get in a restaurant. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. What do traditional Thai homes look like? Well, traditional homes were made from teak. They had ornate roofs and were usually built on stilts. Nowadays, most people live in modern houses or apartments. Mm. What should I do if I'm invited to a Thai house? Thai people are very hospitable, so it's not unusual to be invited into someone's home. Are there any do's and don'ts? Well, you must remember to take your shoes off at the door. That's the most important thing. What should I expect? Oh, you'll probably be offered something to eat and drink. A glass of water, a cup of coffee, some fruit, whatever's at hand, really. But what if I'm not hungry or thirsty? You should try something. To refuse even a taste might be considered impolite. Mm. Thank you. That's good advice to know. You're welcome. Unit 6, Shopping. Can you tell me the best place to go shopping? There are many places you can buy inexpensive gifts and souvenirs, from department stores and shopping malls to markets and street vendors. What kind of things should I buy? Traditional Thai handicrafts include cotton and silk weaving. I definitely want to buy some silk. Do you have any other suggestions? Hmm. Paper parasols and wood carvings are other popular gift items. You've given me some very useful ideas. Thank you. What is the best market to go to? The best one here in Bangkok is the Jatuchak Weekend Market. Is that the biggest? Yes, it's huge. You can buy just about anything there. And what about the floating market? Bangkok used to have many floating markets until they started to fill in the canals. There are still several around, but some of them are now just tourist shows. Probably the most authentic one is the Damnan Saduak floating market. Is that worth going to? Certainly. There are pictures of floating markets everywhere around Thailand, and a trip to Bangkok wouldn't be complete without a look at one. Do you have any advice 
for my visit to the market today? Hmm. Be prepared to barter. You can get some real bargains, but watch out. The vendors will start by asking a high price for their goods. You can usually knock them down a lot, though. Hmm. That could be fun. Is there anything else I should know? It's very hot, so make sure you drink plenty of water. Thank you. I will. There is one more thing. It's very crowded, and there may be pickpockets around. So be careful with your wallet. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Unit Seven, Religion. If you're going to visit any temple, then there are a few things you should know. Yeah, go ahead. Well, temples are sacred places, so you should dress politely. Okay. What kind of thing should I avoid wearing? You shouldn't wear shorts or sleeveless tops, and you may be refused admission if you're not wearing shoes with closed heels and toes. Make sure you take your shoes off though before you go inside. I'll remember that. Is there anything else? Just be careful not to tread on the door frame when you step inside, and if you sit down, then don't point your feet towards the Buddha. Can I kneel or sit cross-legged? Yes, either's fine. The most celebrated architectural form of Thailand is the Wat, the Thai Buddhist temple complex. So the Wat is comprised of more than one building. Yes, a Wat is made up of several buildings that serve all the religious needs of the monastic community. There seem to be a lot of temples in Thailand. There are. Thailand has nearly 18,000 Buddhist temples throughout the country. Wow, that's a lot. Well, the temples provide religious sanctuaries for Thailand's Buddhists, who account for about 95% of the population. The temples are covered with the most beautiful paintings. We're very proud of them. The mural paintings are one of Thailand's great artistic achievements. Do they all depict similar stories? Well, all the scenes are inspired by Buddhist doctrines and are usually intended to teach the worshippers about religion and morality. I've seen miniature temples next to people's houses. What are they for? Ah, they're spirit houses. Every Thai house or building has one. So. People believe that spirits live in them? Yes. Thai people believe sacred spirits live in their houses. The spirits are called Prapum. They make special spirit houses for Prapum to live in. I've seen some Thai people putting flowers and things inside. The family pay their respects to Prapum at the spirit house, so the spirits will protect the family and bring good fortune. Thank you. That's very interesting. We have nothing like that back home. Unit 8, Bangkok's Attractions. When was the Grand Palace built? King Rama I began construction of the Grand Palace in 1882, which also marks the founding of the Jakri dynasty. The complex is made up of more than 100 buildings, covering an area of 132 acres. <laughs> what was first built at the Grand Palace? First, there were three parts, the throne hall, the royal residence, and Wat Prakao. It looks like Ayutthaya style. Yes. The Grand Palace is a copy of the former palace that used to be in Ayutthaya. Fantastic! Does the king actually live here? No, this used to be the king's residence, but now the king and his family reside in Jitlada Palace. Oh. So, what is inside? The most important is the Jagri Maha Prasad Throne Hall, 
where the king receives ambassadors at the presentation of their credentials. Are there many ceremonies conducted in the area? Yes, and there are some special royal ceremonies held in an open field called Sanam Luang. That's nearby too. Are there other important temples? Yes, another interesting temple is Wat Po. So why is Wat Po famous? Wat Po is an ancient temple, one of the oldest and largest Wats in Bangkok. And it's famous for its magnificent statue, a gigantic 46 meter reclining Buddha. Wow, that's huge. How old is it? As a temple site, it dates back to the 16th century, but it was completely rebuilt in 1781. Is that also the place I can get a massage? Yes, it's the center for teaching of traditional Thai healing and massage. An hour session will cost you about 100 baht. Oh. I think I'll go there tomorrow. I could do with a massage. What other temples can I visit? There is one more very famous temple. It's called Wat Arun. Wat Arun? Yes, or more commonly known as the Temple of Dawn. The architecture has some distinctive features. Its style is typical of the Ayutthaya period. Oh, I think I've seen a picture. It has a huge pagoda, doesn't it? Yes. The pagoda is very large. It is 82 meters high and 234 meters wide, sitting on the bank of the mighty Chao Phraya River. What's in the compound? The pavilion contains massive murals that depict images of the Buddha's life. That's well worth a look, too. Thank you. Unit 9. Historical Sites in Ayutthaya. Where is Ayutthaya? Ayutthaya stands on the Chapraya River, not too far from Bangkok, about an hour and a half by car. It used to be the old capital, right? Yes. The city served as the capital of Siam until 1767, when it was sacked by the Burmese and the capital was moved to Bangkok. What can I expect to see there? There are several magnificent ancient Buddhist pagodas that are still standing and also a 16th century palace built on a nearby island as a summer residence for the king. I'd like to find out more about ancient ruins. This was one of Thailand's golden eras and there are many enchanting ruins there it's a World Heritage Site. What is the most important site there? Among other points of interest is Wat Prasi Sanpet. Was that the royal palace? It was used as the royal temple and palace by several kings and once housed a colossal 16-meter-high Buddha covered with 250 kilograms of gold. What happened to it? It was melted down by the Burmese when they conquered the capital. That's a shame. I'm sure it would have been an awesome site. Now the site is mainly known for the line of three large chedis, which contain the remains of royal families. Are there any other attractions nearby? There is Pampa Inn, which was constructed as a summer palace for King Rama V. What's there? The complex is made of a collection of many ornate buildings, including the Chinese-style Wehat Chamrun Palace that is open to visitors. Anything else? Yes, there's the Elephant Kraal, which is a restored version of the wooden stockade once used for the annual roundup of wild elephants. The king used to have a raised platform there from which to observe the thrilling event. Unit 10 Attractions in Chiang Mai. How big is Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai is one of Thailand's largest cities. 
It covers an area of 20,000 square kilometers. Could you tell me some interesting places to visit? There are many ruins of the 13th and 14th century temples in the old section of the city. What is the most famous temple? The most famous temple in Chiang Mai isn't within the walled city, but located on a nearby hilltop. It's called Wat Prathat Doi Suthet. How high is Doi Suthet? It's 3,520 feet above sea level and forms a picturesque backdrop to the city. Why is it considered the most sacred temple in Chiang Mai? Within the temple complex, there is a chedi, which is believed to contain relics of Lord Buddha. Many people make pilgrimages each year to this temple. Is Chiang Mai an ancient city? Chiang Mai was founded in 1296 on the site of an 11th century settlement and was the capital of the Lan Na Thai Kingdom. What is there to see and do in Chiang Mai? There are an increasing number of cultural learning experiences available. You can try Thai cooking, massage, yoga, meditation, and more. I've been told that handicrafts in Chiang Mai are very popular. What can I buy there? All kinds of things. They vary from silverware to wood carvings and silk to pottery. Is there a market? Yes. Chiang Mai is famous for its night bazaar. It's a really good market and a great place to buy your souvenirs. It sounds like there's quite a lot to do. Maybe I should stay a little longer than I planned to make sure I get to see all these places. I'm glad to hear that. You know, if you're staying there for more than just a couple of days, Another popular excursion is to take a trek up to one of the local hill tribes. I've seen postcards of people trekking in the hills, riding on the backs of elephants. Can I ride on one? Yes! It's a great way to travel. You can sit down and take in the splendor of the majestic countryside. It is a little bumpy though. And a lot of fun too. Yes. Can I have some more information about your tours there? Sure. And if you need any more help, then please come and ask. Thank you. Where are you going? Where are you going? That means that, like, which place are you going to? Where are you going? I'm going to the bank. I'm going to the bank or I'm going to the library. I'm going to the supermarket. Where are you going? I'm going to the bank. Number two, do you usually go to the library? That means that do you go to the library often? Do you often go to the library? Usual. Remember, this is usual. Usual. Or usual. Usually. Do you usually go to the library? Do you usually go to li Sorry. Do you usually go to the library? Yes, I do. Do yes, I do. You can link them together. Yes, I yes I do. I go there. There that means library. I go there once a week. You can say I go there every day. I go there every week. I go there two or three times a week, or I go there once a week. Once a week that means one time a week or weekly. Yes, I go there once a week. Or you can say, no, I sometimes go there. I sometimes, remember, like, uh, I don't go there often, just maybe like uh, one month or two months, uh, once, one, um, once, every once, uh, every one or two months, something like that. Okay, so you can say, no, I sometimes go there. Or you can say, I, if you have never been there, you can say, I never go there. Or you can say, I rarely, I hardly go there. The same with sometimes, okay? So, no, I sometimes go there. Do you usually go to library? Yes, I do. I go there once a week. Or, no, I sometimes go there. Number three, is there a supermarket nearby? Let me, like, 
is there any supermarket that is around here, that is near here? You can say nearby or near here. Is there a supermarket nearby? Yes, there is. And then you can give the, uh, the direction, okay? You can say, oh, go straight ahead or turn right or turn left, something like that. And then uh, this is my example. Go straight for 100 meters, okay? So you can say, yes, there is. Go straight for 100 meters. And no, there isn't. Or you can say, if you, are, if you don't know about that, you can say, if you don't know about that, you can say, sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. If you are not familiar with their places there, you can say, sorry, I don't know, okay? Or, sorry, I have no idea about this place. Or again, you can say, uh, ask, is there a supermarket nearby? Yes, there is. Go straight, A straight and remember str straight go straight for 100 meter uh, or no there isn't or if you don't know you can say sorry i don't know okay so that's all for today thanks goodbye see ya